comparison of the different Chanel bags. This is the Chanel Le Boy bag in the medium size. This is the Chanel Classic flap in the small medium. And this is the classic Chanel flap in the small medium. This is in the calfskin leather with aged gold hardware. This is in the lambskin with gold hardware. It's shiny. And then this is in the lambskin with aged gold hardware. I bought this one from Fashion File and the other two I bought from the boutique. I thought it would be cool to do a comparison because I enjoy using bags every day and I like to know kind of what fits in different ones and the comparisons. The big difference between this one and the other two is that I can fit so much more in this. I used to own a jumbo in the Chanel Caviar and it was so heavy that I sold her because I just didn't use her. This one is very light because it's not a double, double flap and it's in lambskin. How this opens is with a push, push and it opens her up. There's none of that secret compartment because this bag was named after Boy Ch Chappelle, which was Coco Chanel's longtime lover. And this is one big opening with a slide pocket with no zip. I like how when I first got her from Fashion File, this chain was already looped inside like this, which I love because it's a perfect length and I would have never thought to do that. So if you want to close the bag, you just push it shut or you can clip it shut. But the problem is, uh, Sophie Sof Sohet, who I follow on YouTube, she said the problem with the design of this in the lambskin is that over time, because when you open it and you want to close and you just squeeze it shut, the bottom becomes saggy like this. And so that's just because it's lambskin, it's soft. I don't mind this at all. And she said, if you want to avoid that, you just squeeze it to make it shut instead of squeezing the whole bag. Whenever you use the classic flaps, you just open and close and you don't have to squish it. Plus the bottom is structured, unlike the boy bag, which is squishy. Same with the beige. This one is very structured, so you can't squish it. The differences is what I can put in here. I'll use this one for special dates or to go to church when I know I don't need much stuff. And so what I put in this is very little, and I won't use this in a, as an everyday bag because I just can't put everything in it. But the advantage to the classic flaps is they have the back pocket. Every classic flap has a back pocket, but, and the boy bag does not. So that's a disadvantage of the boy. But I find that this is very, very comfortable to use and the strap is a good length. And I'll do some modeling shots at the end, but it's a wide strap. I used to own a jumbo and I sold her because she was just too heavy and I just didn't use her because it just hurt. It physically hurt to wear her on my shoulder she was already heavy and then putting all my stuff every day and it just hurt my shoulders too much and I actually felt a little pain in my back. So this is a wonderful bag. What I'll do is I'll show you what I usually put if I'm going out for a date is, that's what it is, it has a center compartment with two places for the Chanel compacts and one for Chanel lipstick. And I have a mini pochette, Louis Vuitton mini pochette and a six ring key clay from Louis Vuitton and my Michael Kors card holder. That's about it. It doesn't hold too much more and, but it's beautiful. It has the special secret compartment that Coco Chanel would put her love notes in. I love to show this one and it just goes up and remember it doesn't go down. What I'll do is I'll show a comparison with the black. 
the black lambskin. This lambskin seems to be a lot more delicate than the boy bag lambskin. You can even tell the difference. I bought this because it was matte and I love how matte it is because I'll use this for a special date because it's so she's so beautiful. This one I can use every day and I don't feel like it's is showy and um, she's just beautiful and fun and youthful. So this one you open and same thing it has the secret love note compartment it goes up not down and then you have the double flap. Some people prefer a single flap. I like the double flap as Amy Chase Amy said over time with the single flap you won't have this beautiful dome shape. Over time, it'll be pinched at the top if you don't have this extra flap in it. So that's the advantage of having a double flap. And then you have the inside, same. You have two compartments for Chanel Compacts and then one for the lipstick, and then those two. So you can put mini pochette in here, and I have, in this, I have a lavender essential oil pen, Chanel lip gloss, Chanel lip gloss, Cartier sample perfume, another lipstick, the iPhone 7 extension, some cards, the hospital ID, some extra earrings in case I didn't wear any and I need some. I'll put all that back in here. Just pop that right in here. The six ring key clay from Louis Vuitton. And I'm actually able to hold my full size car key in there. And how many other keys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine keys. I have nine keys and a, my fitness membership key to get in and my full size car keys. And it used to be hard to close, but now it's very easy to close. So this is a very useful thing. I like it because it keeps your keys from scratching the inside of your nice bags. We'll put that right in here. And and a Michael Kors card holder. And I guess that's about it. And you can put hand sanitizer in here if you'd like. But that fills it already. And then you can close it easily. There you go. So let's move on to the boy bag and see how much you can put in there. Okay, if you want to compare the depths of all these, this is the difference. So I'm going to show them side by side and you can tell, let me get this thing, you can tell the difference already. The boy bag gives you much more depth than the classic flap. And if I hold them up like this, the classic flap actually gives you more length than the boy. So the classic flap is longer in the space it gives you inside, but the boy bag gives you more depth. Again, the boy bag is in the medium, and this is in the small medium size, which I thought was interesting. In the boy bag, Put the mini pochettes. Six rain key clay. Michael Kors card holder. Clements wallet from Louis Vuitton. That 
fits easily. Hand sanitizer. Two hospital IDs. And also because the inside is satin, I don't worry about scratching. But I have to put the two IDs in here and just leave the tags hanging there in the middle. We're on the mail something tomorrow, so there's the letter. So everything fits really nicely in here. And that's a good everyday bag. And then you just close it because it's lambskin it gives. There you go. So everything fits nicely in there. And because I have all my things I need for the day, this is a good everyday bag. I just love that, the boy bag. I can't believe I have one. When I first saw them, I didn't like them because they weren't the classic. But I actually love this because it's more useful. And then I can use a Chanel every day instead of my Louis Vuitton. I used to use my Louis Vuitton all the time because it was more friendly to use and it was just easier to have to worry about scratching. But this one is my new everyday bag because I can use it and it doesn't scratch and it holds everything I need. The only thing I cannot fit in here, the only thing I cannot fit in here is my charger. So I just put that in my um, Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which holds my laptop and my folders and everything I need. So, and this is not very heavy at all. This is not like the jumbo. And I keep that extra strap in there so it doesn't keep sliding back and forth. I thought it was really good that Fashion Files sent this to me like this because I would have never thought to loop the chain inside. So how to loop the chain inside is that they just took the chain and just literally put it underneath this top flap. I'm going to do a couple of modeling shots and I'll show you how each bag hits on me. I'm five foot six, and that way you can kind of see how it looks so so thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing see you next time bye